For the second part of my flash videos, I will show you how to fill in and color Zoidberg now so he's just not a green outline. So as you can see, I went ahead and traced Zoidberg and I'll upload this file so you can have the trace of Zoidberg as well to follow along. And under the eye, if you it shows what's visible and what not. So if we click on the Zoidberg layer, you can see there's my trace and looks pretty good but yeah that just toggles it on and off so now all we have is a green outline so to get started let's on our trace layer if you s click the layer it selects everything or we can double click on the line and by holding shift if you double click on more lines it adds to what you currently have selected so with all the lines selected if we go down to properties we can change the stroke color of Zoidberg and we'll use a black and there we go and if you also hit control A it selects everything so you can also change the thickness of Zoidberg depending how thick you want it let's leave it at 2 and for now you can always change it later now let's make the background layer visible again so now we can see what colors we need to fill them in so if we go ahead and grab our paint bucket tool, if we click in here, you see our cursor turned into an eyedropper. Now we can select the color of his claw and click. Changes back to paint bucket. And if we fill it in, make the layer invisible again, you can see that we just filled in his claw. So let's go ahead and do that for the rest of his body parts. We'll click on the little paint swatch. Click on the color of his shirt. Fill it in. Fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Make it invisible. Oh. oh, okay, you see, the problem we had here is the lines at the bottom, I didn't close them off, so it wasn't filled in. So to use your paint tool, you have to, all the lines have to be completely sealed off. So that's my bad. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Just a couple line segments to straighten everything up. Oh, that one was weird. Okay. There we have it. So we'll go ahead and let's fill them back up again. Fill them, fill them, fill them. There we go. Now, let's fill in his claw by selecting it and his face. Put his claw on his face. And let's go ahead and grab the color of his shirt and fill that in. And his mouth, we'll use a black for. And now for his eyes, as you can see, his pupil, we could just take our paintbrush tool. It looks too big. We can take. Oh, it's still too big. Paintbrush, paintbrush tool and make sure the fill color is on black and let's zoom in and then no no it's too small and just click let's make it invisible and then There you have it, a filled in Zoidberg. And I'll upload the file like I said. Um, make sure to fill in the lines on the file I'm uploading. And then fill them in and then you too can trace out the Zoidberg. So as you can see here we have our trace. And there's the original. They look pretty close I'd say. And yep, thanks for following along.